really do love the emails to Norm at normangoldman.com. Norm at normangoldman.com. That's why I keep giving out the email address, and I respond to as many as I can. And I love the kids. I don't mean that in a, you know, kind of illegal way. I mean, I just, we need youngsters to get involved politically. You are the future. They are the future. So here's an email from Jeffrey L. M. in Chicago. Hiya, Norm, I need your help. Move on, that would be moveon.org, is having a quote, where are the jobs protest at my congressman's office, Adam Kinzinger, August the 10th at 1 p.m. I'm 25 years old and have never been any kind of political rally before. So since you've been talking so much about this very thing on your show lately, maybe you can give me and your audience some advice for attending such an event. What to bring, what to wear, signs, talking points, etc. Thank you, Norm, for all you do. I'm so glad to have found your show on 99.9 FM, Chicago's Progressive Talk. Jeffrey, thank you for that great email. Move on, by the way, will help you a lot. Moveon.org is terrific. We've had them on this show and we will again. I'm a proud member and have been virtually from the beginning. Move on will help you a lot. But just understand that clever, short, pithy, humorous signs that are barbed, like sarcastic but barbed, are always great. Those will also, by the way, get on TV, right? If you can get TV crews to show up from the local TV. A sign, for example, like, I am a job creator. That'll get you on TV. Or how about Big Biz, B-I-Z, Big Biz is booming. Where's my job? And by the way, if you want to help Jeffrey L.M., Send me an email to norm at normangoldman.com and I'll read some suggestions out on the air. Norm at normangoldman.com. Here's one from Nick S., also in Chicago, Nick S. Norm, I'm 17 and I listen to your podcast at work all the time. Joe Walsh is my congressman and I was thinking of doing what you said and paying him a visit. Do you have any advice of what I could say? Any facts that I could strengthen my argument that the generation of today is ruining the country for the generation of tomorrow? Mine? I know most of the progressive arguments and went door to door for Obama. Any help is appreciated. Nicholas S. Well, Nicholas, all I would say to Joe Walsh is, where are the jobs? You were, you've been there since January. You promised the jobs. The economy has gone in the toilet. The moment you took over, the economy tanked. Congress is in control. Congress is in control. Article 1 of the Constitution. You decide spending. You decide everything. The president's only leverage is veto, and he hasn't vetoed much. Why have you not gotten us jobs? And by the way, since he won by such a slim margin, let me suggest to you, Nick, that you go work for the Democratic nominee. Whoever is running against Joe Walsh, that is a seat that is prime for the picking. I hope that helps. If you have any suggestions for Nick, let me know. Norm at normangoldman.com. I'm happy to pass them along. But you know, look, we are going to be talking about this until you're so sick of listening to me that you just say, Norm, I can't take it anymore. I am sick and tired of politicians. You and I have to take politics back into our own hands. I'm sick of relying on politicians. With us for our regular Thursday interview is Jamie Court. He's the president of Consumer Watchdog. Online, consumerwatchdog.org. And Jamie's latest book, The Progressive's Guide to Raising Hell, can be found online at raisinghellguide.com. Jamie Court, thanks for coming back to the Norman Goldman Show. My pleasure. Well, Jamie, we are on the, uh, I guess, the trail end here, the tail end of this debt reduction deal. But everybody's still venting about it. Everybody's still upset about it. I'm still getting emails about it. You know, it's it just seems to me that this shows that government is completely dysfunctional. Uh, at least the federal government is just totally broken. Jamie, are we consigned to this? Do we have any options? Well, we've got to stop relying on politicians like Barack Obama. And I think progressives, the non-professional progressives who don't depend on a paycheck from a public interest group in D.C. that relies on access to the president, 
the non-professional progressive has realized now, if they hadn't realized before, that this president is no progressive. Well, if he's a progressive in his heart, he's certainly not a progressive in his positions. And I, I imagine he's probably progressive in his heart. But that doesn't mean much for progress when you totally capitulate to the Tea Party and their tactics. And I think the paralysis in Washington over the debt ceiling for so long awakened Americans of both parties to the reality that their government will abandon them, even at the cost of the economy and their own borrowing power and the full faith and credit of the U.S., and it certainly, I think, awakened more progressives to the notion that there is no progressive movement in D.C., certainly not one coming from the White House. We don't have to be consigned to this. You know, we, we need to take matters in our own hands. I have spent days now, and I will spend weeks going forward and months if necessary, urging people and helping people to get involved in the grassroots, uh, getting people involved in their local congressional uh, elections, going and lobbying, whether it's at a town hall meeting or just dropping by the local uh, congressperson's office, getting them you know, knowledgeable about who their state representatives are, basically conducting a new politics, new energy grassroots campaign. It seems to me the only way that we can save this country is by energizing the citizenry who are not, as you say, the professional politicians and getting them engaged, getting them knowledgeable, getting them active. Otherwise, we're sunk. These Tea Party bozos have taken over and they're destroying the country. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's clear that the next deal is going to be our deal. can't be the politicians' deal. And I think it even the groups in D.C. who align themselves with the president to push forward health reform or banking reform, you know, have to acknowledge that this president is about ready to give up entitlement programs that are crucial to the constituencies they represent. So where do we do? Where do we go? You know, I, I think the way we can make it our deal, progress our deal, is to fill the vacuum. And, for instance... We have in California a ballot measure process. You've got this in uh, two dozen other states as well. And we can write our own laws. We can organize our own movements. We can enact our own laws and tell the legislature and the governor what to do. So uh, our next opportunity is 2012. At Consumer Watchdog, we're looking at developing two ballot measures in conjunction with our affiliates and our allies. One would be to get everything that Obama promised for health reform but never delivered on, uh, regulating health insurance premiums, creating a public plan, a way for people to bypass the health insurance industry, taking on the insurance companies in health care and the prices uh, that they charge. That is a ballot measure I think we're very likely to get on the November 2012 ballot. We're also examining a ballot measure to create something uh, that Washington has yet to create, which is a do not track me online standard for Google and Facebook and Apple's iPhone uh, so that we can't be tracked by our mobile phones and the data collected against our will. We can't be tracked on the Internet without data being collected against our will. These are issues where we have 70, 80 percent public support, and we should be able to turn that into victory through ballot measure. And I think it can be done elsewhere. But that is our contribution to Consumer Watchdog to this movement. And I talk about it in my book, you know, The Progressive's Guide to Raising Hell, that we can't wait for Washington. We can't wait for politicians. We've got to do it ourselves. I think the ballot measure is one of the key ways to do it ourselves. I also agree, though, Norm, you're right, that holding your own congressional representative accountable is an amazing thing. If we had one person in every district in America doing that, uh, they could make an unbelievable amount of progress. And we don't. And that is, uh, it's a mystery to me why you know not enough organization has been put into that but i think it is the future this is one of the uh jobs i've assigned to us here on this radio show and it's one of the long-term projects that we're going to be doing we're doing it now we'll be doing it next week next month next year uh it's this is action radio it's not just talk radio and uh it seems to me that we need to educate ourselves and get ourselves active because we're the people we've been waiting for Jamie Court, C-O-U-R-T, just like going to court, Jamie Court is the president of Consumer Watchdog, consumerwatchdog.org. Jamie's latest book, you can find it online, raisinghellguide.com. One of the reasons I love Consumer Watchdog is because they are the epitome of taking matters into your own hands, not sitting around waiting for someone else to act. We are the leaders we need to work with and work for. And uh, Jamie, you know, you guys at Consumer Watchdog have blazed the path for decades now, uh, literally in terms of, of taking action into the hands of citizens. So now with the ballot process in, in almost half the states, the ballot initiative process, look at what's going on in Wisconsin. Look what they're doing in Ohio. In Ohio, the governor passed and the legislature passed a union stripping law. The people took the law into their own hands. They delivered. They needed 285,000 signatures. They delivered over a million. 
mm-hmm. to, to freeze the law and put a repeal of that law to popular vote this coming November. Jamie, isn't this kind of the model that we need to use to go forward? That's absolutely the model. All politics is local. We've got to start taking local action. You know, we, we, the only reason I'm so convinced of this is because 20-some-odd years ago, the founder of our organization, Harvey Rosenfield, wrote a ballot measure called Proposition 103, an insurance reform initiative that passed over an $80 million insurance industry campaign. Voters enacted it. And just on auto insurance alone, according to the Consumer Federation of America, this law has saved Californians $62 billion just by getting an elected insurance commissioner, having insurance companies ask permission before they raise rates, ending discrimination, redlining, zip code-based auto insurance. That was all done by the people in California, and it's withstood insurance industry challenges for 23 years. Uh, We have one almost every ballot, but we always win. And so I am convinced that this can be done on the issues of the day that I think it's clear to anyone with with eyes and ears, President Obama's not going to deliver on and Congress isn't going to deliver on. Jamie Court, I can't thank you enough, as always, for being with us on the Norman Goldman Show. Uh, You guys have shown us the way for citizen action. And uh, anytime there's a ballot initiative that you're uh, promulgating, you know you can count on me and everybody I can muster in California. And let's take this model national and uh, blaze a path because the politicians need to be following us. We need to lead them and lead this nation. Thank you for being a voice for the people, Norm. Having that voice every day out there is really key to, to reminding people there is a way so they don't just tune out and turn off. Well, Jamie, three hours a day. If I had six, I would do six. So (laughs) thanks so very much. We'll talk with you next Thursday. Thank you. And your calls are next, one 321 6001 Norm at normangoldman.com. Keep those emails coming. This is the place where justice is served every day. The Norman Goldman Show. First off, I'd like to uh, thank you for providing me with entertainment while I work every night. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a driver, so you're pretty much all I listen to. Like, I, I'm craving some, like, intelligent conversation, and you're where I get it from. This is the Norman Goldman Show. It happened as we showed up here.